Good morning. I think we are live. It takes YouTube a minute to let that live go through. Yay. Good morning, Patty and Christy and Louise. Susan. Yes, we are going to be playing with some vinyl and doing the wet method application. Um, let's go over and look at design space. Well, let me play the intro, guys, um, here in just a second, and then we'll get started. I uh, just want to remind you, patrons and coffee supporters, thank you so much. I appreciate your support. Thank you, moderators, for helping with the lives and in the group. I greatly appreciate you. Good morning, Linda. Well, it's morning for some and afternoon for some of us, so... Um, but we've got lots of exciting things going on. Guys, don't forget to go over to craftingwithapril.co and uh, make sure that you jump in on that giveaway. We will be drawing for it on Monday. Uh, here is that link. Hopefully it will be clickable for you guys. Craftingwithapril.co, go to the giveaway tab. You will have to register to get to it, I believe. And make sure that you subscribe to the YouTube channel, guys. Make sure that you're getting your name and lights. Um, just like that. So uh, when you subscribe, it pops up. Um, lots of different things. Super Chats, all of those pop up in there. So um, if you're not a Kofi or a Patreon supporter, please consider supporting. There are links down below. They're also on your screen. Um, and that helps us with the YouTube channel and um, supporting the groups. Shopping my links. I appreciate it, guys. That does earn me a small commission. I greatly appreciate that. So let's go ahead and play the intro and we will get started. This is not washing out or reflecting too much for you guys. I'm, I tried to do it. Well, well, you guys can tell me if the white or the green is better and or either the matte itself um, as we get going. And I will do it whatever works best for you guys. So, um, and I know that we're working with glass. So you're going to see the reflection of my little camera arm up there. There's not much I can do about it, guys. Um, so, uh, let's see. First off... Let me go over to Design Space and point out a couple of things for you guys. Um, if it'll, if the ribbon will scroll, here we go. The download, it's very important, guys, that you get your desktop download. Okay, the 29th, four days. The web version is not going to work anymore. Right now, I have version. 5.325. I believe there is a newer version. Jamie, correct me if I'm wrong. It's rolling out. Uh, some people have it. I think it came out to Windows users first. So there is there are doing updates to it. Um, any little quirks that are left behind, um, they are working those out. In the group, um, in the announcements, you will see... Um, see if I can pull that up and bring it over to you guys. Oops. I don't want my Facebook history. I want Facebook. There we go. And if you go in the groups, it doesn't matter which group you're in. Um, and you may see some pop-ups from, from me. Just please ignore them. Right here on the left is announcements. If you're on a mobile, it's going to be under the photo down here. We have announcements. We have the group files, photos, all of that stuff to help you guys. And over on the right, we have topics. So if you want to know about um, craft room storage, things like that, you can go in and the topics and you can find those. Yours is going to look a little bit different than mine, 
but um, all the topics are there. We have tons of topics. So if I add a topic or you add a topic to your post, it's going to come up in there. Um, let's see. I know it's in there. Here it is. If you were interested in craft room and storage, instead of making a separate post and repeating, because I this morning, within 15 minutes, I answered four questions on where to find fonts and the bundles for craft stuff. And guys, it's in the group resource file. But you can see everything that I've tagged with that topic is in here. So you're not looking at anything. And so instead of asking that question, here's one with 495 comments. So instead of asking that question again, you can come in here and look at those. Now, if you're showing yours off, yes, sure, show it off. Add that craft room topic, and it will come up in here as well. And then after a short period of time, we will shut off comments so they don't clog the post. But there are things in here. There's 1.2 thousand, uh, I'm sorry, 1,200 comments and on this post alone. Uh, or likes and 159 comments so there are tons and tons in here um, and I know that it's hard for some of you you're just new to Facebook and that's why we're trying to cover a few of these topics so that you can remember um, and find these things because if nobody shows you where they're at you're never gonna know that they're there um, our group files when you click on it we have our group rules in here. There's a vinyl project cal calculator. So instead of saying, how much would you charge for this? Nobody can answer that but you because you have all your costs involved. Uh, how to use the IMA Engine app if you're on mobile. We had uh, a nice little video from Doreen and we put that in there because she did such a great job with her little video. Um, how to apply your Caesar HTV because you don't want to use your Cricut Easy Press settings for Caesar. They're two different products. Um, the group resource file. If you click on that group resource file, it's going to open that up. Guys, four times I answered within a 15 minute period on four different posts where to get um, bundles for images. Look at there, right here. We have all of these. We have Font Lab Pad. We have any font app. We have all of this. We have Dreaming Tree, SVG Cuts. We have Defont, Font Bundle, So Fancy, Creative Fabrica, Hungry JPEG. Simply opening up this file or downloading it and keeping it on your desktop. Look here. Click on Design Bundles and watch what happens. You don't have to even do any work. It's right there for you. It's going to take you right over there. How easy is that? We, we designed that to help, and we are working on a version that's going to combine everything into one little PDF booklet. But guys, there are tons of resources over here in the group files, and I even put them over in topics. I sure did. Um, if you look over in topics, if that's not easy for you, over in the topics, I'm having to click on manage because I set these up. Right here, group resources. All, if you click on group resources, it's going to bring you to the group rules. It's going to show you the download for the resource file, the rolled flower and sizing guide, iron-on placement and sizing, cheat sheets for design space, uh, when to weld, all of that kind of stuff is in there, when to slice, uh, how to paint on wood, can you use a photo for copyright stuff, how to put vinyl on wood. There are tons and tons of things in there and we can make all of these things but you guys it's up to you to actually go in and get those and use those yes because deb i i get that because not everybody is computer savvy and if we don't show you guys where to find it of course we are here to help you can, I don't care if somebody asks 20 times in one day, where can I find images? We're going to help you and we're going to tell you, but we're also, we're not being mean or anything like that. We're also trying to direct you and teach you how to find these things so that you will know, so that you, your knowledge grows. We're, so any of you guys that please don't take offense when we say, hey, there's a group resource file on this. We're doing it to help you and help you grow and learn with your crafting. Because the more that you know, as the old saying goes, I can give you a fish or I can teach you to fish.
okay and that that's kind of the approach that we like to take so that we that you are self-sufficient with your crafting because nobody wants to go in on Facebook and ask a question and nobody knows the answer and four hours later the post pops up and then we see it nobody wants to wait four hours on an answer so if you um, have a little bit of knowledge on how to find things then you've answered your question in in seconds there's no line no waiting etc Yes, Linda, I can do a, a small video um, tutorial on how to find all of the stuff in Facebook. As a matter of fact, I had considered going live on Facebook on um, maybe Tuesday and um, walking everybody through on where to find everything uh, from Facebook and not actually on YouTube. So I'm probably going to be going live in Facebook on Tuesday um, I don't know what time yet, just at any given time, just to help show everybody where to find things. If I can get my Facebook Live to work. <laughs> if not, I'll do it on YouTube. So, that being said, anybody, as usual, if you have any questions for Facebook or a project question, put your question in caps, post it in there, and... Um, Myself or the moderators are going to help you, and we will also come over to the screen here and show you live in Design Space should we need to do so, um, just to make sure that you're fully understanding what you need to do to get your project rolling. Um, we don't want to leave anybody in the dark. We'll do whatever it, we need to help you. So let's go over and start playing with some vinyl. Now, I already cut my vinyl and weeded it, and I just used some Mickey heads. Um, in um, design space so that you guys because I needed to show you guys because words you can do this with like your words and your thin filigree um, vinyl and stuff but the air bubble issue doesn't come in really on those as much as it does solid area um, vinyl and I'm hoping it will pick it up on camera it probably won't um, but there are some air bubbles in there, but they're not, they're very minute. They'll suck up to it, and I'm going to flip it over and show you. Now, this one is on top of the glass, but actually it's on the back of the glass, okay? This one has not one air bubble in it anywhere. You're not going to see any air bubbles in there. I put this one on with the wet method on the back of the glass, okay? This one is on the front of the glass, and you can see some minute air bubbles, but they're not they won't show through here because of the way that I applied it. When you layer vinyl, you have to put it on the top because when you put these layers on there, you can feel that little bit of a ledge. That's going to create air bubbles. So you can't put that behind the glass. Okay. When you do that, you're going to be slicing this from this and from the black. And then you're going to layer it or inset it if you're going to put it behind glass. That way you can avoid those air pockets that are caused by the vinyl being layered up, okay? So just remember, if you're layering, you have to go on top. If you're gonna go behind the glass with layering, you have to slice your images up, okay? And then they're going to apply the same way that we're going to apply the rest of it. And I was gonna do it on my little acrylic frame, but I'm gonna do something else with that. I, I got to thinking, um, if I go to do this to show you guys and I go to take it off and I scratch my acrylic, I'm going to be upset with myself. So <laughs> I just opted to use glass so that I could take it off of there um, and not damage. So we're going to work. And I got a little bit off and that was me. It was, it's just because I was having a hard time last night. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that. And we're going to start by cleaning our glass. And I did promise you guys the recipe for my solution. And I'm just using alcohol, 91%. And I'm going to clean the glass. Can you guys see the glass on this green better or do you think it's better on white? I don't know. I think it might wash out on the white. I don't know, but you guys tell me and I'll put it on whatever surface you need me to put it on. 
So I'm going to clean that, and I'm going to flip it over, and I'm going to clean the other side too, because I'm, I'm going to be using both sides here, just to show you guys. Okay, so the first thing is, how do you get your image on straight? Okay, and I like to line up on my pad on my grid here and decide where uh, center is. So for me to do that, I know this is 8.5 by 11. I'm going to scoot over to my zero, 00 marks. Okay, and then you can decide where center is. And it's this is 8 inches wide, so 4 inches is going to be the center by 10. So it's 8 by 10. And so it's going to be at the 4, and this is if you're going to put it in the center. You need to just decide where you want it. So this would be at the 4 and the 5. So right there is my center. It would depend on where I want it. And I'm just going to put a little dot with a Sharpie because that will come off. Let me show you that. I know you can't see that on the green, so I'm just going to place it. So if you're trying to find center or if you know that you want it down here at the two inch mark, you're going to use a Sharpie and you're going to mark that area. Okay. Now if you're using a black vinyl or something like that, you want to use a color pen or Sharpie for that first layer of vinyl to help you layer it down. That way it's not going to show. And you always want to check your vinyl because if you're using a specialty vinyl, like this holographic here. If you look on the back, it's holographic. I don't know if that's going to show. It's holographic, but it's silver. Okay. So you need to be aware of what the back of your vinyl looks like. If you're using regular 651 or um, 751 or anything like that, then it's color through and through and it doesn't matter, okay? So make sure that you're checking that before you start laying out your design and cutting. Make sure that you're using what you need to use for which way you're doing it. If you're putting it on top, doesn't matter. If you're putting it underneath and you're mirroring it, it matters, okay? So far the green looks good, Susan, okay. But I just wanted to show you guys, because this doesn't matter to me where it lands on here because I am not, um, I'm, I'm going to be peeling this off. I'm just using this for the purposes. But I wanted to show you guys, use your Sharpie, use your mats, mark where you want it to be because you can wipe this off with alcohol. If you're putting it on top, doesn't matter. If you're mirroring and putting it under, use the color of the vinyl so that it won't show where you can't get to it and mark it off. Okay. So let's get that green back in here. And I'm just going to do a little trick here so my glass doesn't slide around as much. I'm going to wet the other side. Because you won't be using a mat under yours, guys, when you do yours because you're going to be using your grid to help you line it up, okay? So just saying. Hopefully that would darken it up so you can see. It can, does it make it better or worse if I darken it up? I can get another towel if it's worse. I think if it's darker it might show better. Better or worse, guys? Oh, you can take it off, Disa. Just click on it again, honey. Should be should be able to take it off. It's okay. It's interaction. I got it too wet, I think. I'm still waiting. I know that there's a little bit of a lag. I'm, I'm waiting to see if the darker the light is better. Can you guys hear me? Are we still live? My stream looks good. Okay, well, I'm just going to carry on. You guys can tell me if it is worse. So 
So I've got me some paper towels here just wet. The dark shows the camera more. Okay, give me just one second, guys. There's more than one way to skin a cat here. How about that? Is that better or worse? We'll, we'll find a color that works for everybody. The camera's going to show. I think that might be better right there, that pink. Does that work? Yeah, it's a heck of a lag. And that's it's not really us. That's just going from um, live. When you live stream, sometimes it, it's just like that. This is better, pink is better or worse? That looks good, okay. Okay, you guys should be able to see that. That shouldn't wash out too much. I know you're gonna see a reflection, you're gonna see my reflection, but that's just because we're working with glass. White might wash out, I can do white. That's white. And I can work out, like Linda said, off to the side a little bit. That way the camera won't reflect as much. The green was the best. Okay. We'll get it. We'll get it. We'll get it. I think we're there. Let's see. All right. Ooh, that doesn't work. All right, we're going to go with this green, and hopefully it shows up, because we're working with some colors that are going to work on there, I think. And you're, you're going to be able to see. So we're looking basically at the method. So, um, <clears throat> to make your solution, and this is the way I do mine, totally up to you if you want to do um, yours differently. This is an 8 ounce bottle, okay? And if you're doing a lot of decal work, then you might want a larger bottle, okay? And I put 7 ounces of water in here. And one ounce, you can use 70 or 90, 91% alcohol. Put one ounce of that. So I've got eight ounces total, okay? You want two drops of Dawn or other soap. Baby shampoo works best, guys. And I'm just going to tell you, The vinyl looks blue. It's actually teal. It's green. It might be color differences. Um, so, the thing is, is you want to put about that much soap in there. That's it. Just a little spot. If you get too much soap, now, and of course, if you're doing a larger bottle, you're going to need more than that. If you like. I think they're like 30 ounce bottles. You're going to have to triple it. Okay, 20 ounce bottle, whatever, 24, whatever it is. You just triple it. So it's seven ounces of water, an ounce of alcohol, and two drops of Dawn, or what I just showed you. 
okay? Just a, not even a dime size. If you get too much soap, it's going to be slippery. It's going to be slippery anyway, but it's going to be super slippery if you get too much soap in there, and it's going to take it longer to dry, okay? So just keep that in mind when you're making your solution. So I've cleaned my glass. I've got all my fingerprints and all that off of it, and I am going to be doing layers of uh, um, putting this on the back side of the glass, okay, because I want, when I clean my glass on my picture, I don't want the vinyl being in the way. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to mist my glass just a little bit, don't need much, just get a good little bit of a solution on there. And you can use transfer tapes. Um, if you're using a solid area, I usually don't. But when I use my layering and stuff like that, I use this Conform. Okay, and you can get this at Brilliant. There's a link down below. It comes in a 2, 4, 6, and 12 inch width. It is 100 foot rolls. And it lasts forever. I don't find any need for anything except the 2 inch. Now, if you just want to use transfer tape for this part, you can. You can just put it on there, just like you would any other transfer tape, and then peel back your backing. And then you're going to place it on your glass. And remember, you guys are going to be looking at your grid and, and lining this up and getting it all good and straight. You're going to take your squeegee, and you're just going to start pushing out water, okay? Keep your paper towel handy, start drying, and you're going to feel it start to stick. So you want to work pretty quickly before you start squeegeeing out all that water or it's not going to slip. But you can pick it back up and wet it. You see that there? Or you can hold it down and peel that tape off. You don't want to peel your tape off until it's stuck. But I don't usually use mine for large surface like this. Now, if you're doing a wall or a, a big picture window, not a wall. Of course, you want it to keep slipping and sliding, but you're just going to come through. I've got something on that vinyl. The vinyl has something on the back of it. I don't know how I did that. It must have been on the glass. Yep, something stuck to it right there. I'm gonna get rid of that one. Make sure your glass is absolutely clean. I don't know what that was or where it came from. I thought I had my glass clean. Your glass has to be clean. If you get even a speck of dust, you're going to see it. So let's just start over. I'm going to mist it. And again, I don't use transfer tape for this. I do use it when I'm layering. Just like a sticker. And I just place it down. And I've got an air bubble under there, but it's going to come out because I'm going to start pushing that water out from under it. And I'm still able to get it where I want, move it around. And I'm going to take my paper towel and just blot it. Once I have it where I want, basically, I can still move around and you're going to start squeegeeing out that water. Okay? As you squeegee out that water, that alcohol and stuff is going to come out as well with that soap and it's going to stick down. And you're just going to keep doing this. Because once you start squeegeeing out the water, it's going to pretty much stay where you have it. But again, you can mist it down again and you can start moving it around. And then when you go and flip your glass over, you can see there are no air bubbles. Okay. Oops, let's get back. Let me back up a little bit for you guys. But you can see in there, no air bubbles, and it's nice and flat on there. So the wet method's going to allow you to do that, and now I can push this around. I mean, I could probably still get it to move. I can still lift it up. It'll take it a day to dry, but it's there, and there are no air bubbles. So when I flip it over and put my photo behind there, I've got none of that stuff on it. So what if you're putting it, and we're just going to use this as the top now for layering. If you're putting it outside the glass, oops, wrong one. I didn't have my alcohol bottle over here. I have a spray alcohol bottle that looks like that too. Just 
just going to clean this glass because this is going to go on top of the glass and we want to layer vinyl up. So when we're layering vinyl, we're going to do it a little bit different. You want your glass good and dry, okay? And you do want to use transfer tape. And I'm just going to use the same piece of transfer tape that I had. And I'm going to peel my backing. How can we avoid air bubbles when we're applying our vinyl? Of course, you're going to line it up with your grid and stick it down. Because when you do this layer and you put it on, when you're doing dry, it's going to be there. It's not going to move around. You don't get that play that you get with the wet method. Now you can use the wet method to do this, but you're going to have to wait on it to dry before you start layering. Because if you don't, you're just going to pick that vinyl back up when you try to remove your transfer tape from your layers. Does everybody follow me? You can use the wet method and still layer, but you have to wait on that layer to dry before you do the second layer. Okay? So we're going to put this one down dry so that we don't have to wait. And we're still going to avoid air bubbles. And you can see that I've just stuck it where I want. I've lined up my bottom with my grid, however I'm doing it. And I'm going to take my squeegee. And you can use one that's got the little felt on it or just your regular squeegee. And you're going to push your vinyl down with the squeegee instead of just laying it down all at once, okay? And then you're just going to peel your transfer tape off. And then after I've taken off my transfer tape, I don't like to use a credit card or anything like that because it will scratch your vinyl. So I have people say it won't, it will scratch your vinyl. I had one here, but I think I accidentally used it that I scratched up using a credit card on. So I use my little felt one, and now let's flip it over, and look, I have very minute air bubbles, and those are going to dissipate in a day. So I've got those down, but and it doesn't matter because that's going to be on top of the glass because we're layering, but you can see on there, there are no air bubbles for that next layer to land on, okay? You don't want a big giant air bubble in there for the next layer. So then we're going to go to the next layer, and I accidentally wadded up my transfer tape, so let me get another piece. Okay. So to layer it up, same thing, I'm just going to pick up my, oh, I didn't get that on there good. I'm going to line it up over my image. And I'm just use my finger to rub it, guys. You don't have to burnish it into next week, and just peel that off. Then I'm just going to take this over because I don't want to spray on my glass. I'm going to hold it away from me and I'm just going to mist the actual, just too little mist and get it damp, okay? And now that's going to enable me to come in here and get this lined up like it needs to be and play with it all I need to play to get it where I want it on that Mickey head. I hope my head's not in the way. I'm trying to see here. And you can see through this tape when it gets wet. It may not show up well on camera. That's pretty good. I'm going to go with it. And I'm just going to rub that down with my finger and then I'm just going to start squeegeeing out that water. Get my paper towels. Just going to take my tape, just like you do any other transfer tape. You're going to peel it back against itself. And I'm a little bit off, but it's hard for me to see. I've got a camera in my face when I lean over. <laughs> so. And then you're going to take your next piece. And I just get a fresh piece because that one's already wet. And we're going to take the same thing. Gonna take it away and I'm just gonna mist it. Two little mists on it. And now I can line that up and maneuver it. Because you know what happens if you do this and you don't wet it, right? You're not moving it. Oops. 
it's not going to move. I want another little mist. It's still a little too sticky. If it's too sticky, just wet it. But you can see that yellow popping through. I can see that it's not lined up. So it gives you time to play with it. And I may still be a little bit off, but again, I got the camera right there. So that looks good to me. I'm going to press it. I'm just going to squeegee out the water. Yeah, I was a little bit off. I could have come down just a little bit more. But the beauty is if you want to try to pull it up without damaging your vinyl, you can still move it around. That looks pretty good. And then it's dried. It's layered up. It'll take it a day to dry in between those layers. You don't want to do anything with it. So, you can see. Pretty easy to do, guys. So, you layered on the top using the wet method. Layered on the back of the glass using the wet method. And then you have no air bubbles. You can see those others. And I didn't, I put that, that one down dry. It was just the way that I did it by pushing it with the squeegee rather than just plopping it down. Let me show you the difference. If you don't use the squeegee and you pop down large area vinyl, look at that difference. I can rub that, but still I have these air bubbles in here. Hopefully they'll show on camera. You see those? That's the difference. When you just lay that vinyl down and when you actually put it down the proper way with your tapes, and this is a transfer tape, guys. It's not a masking tape. Those are different adhesives. It probably won't show with this yellow one. But here's the difference. Oops, I, I'm off. Okay, now what? I can't get it off of there. And I've got all these air bubbles in there. Because I didn't put it down right. Got air bubble here, here. Got a wrinkle. That one will come out. But I still got an air bubble there, there, there. And it's off-centered. So that's the difference in how using the wet method is going to help you, especially with layering vinyl. Thank you, Sue. And that link is down below, guys, if you want that conform tape. But you can see, even if I don't, if I, I, I don't have any play with this. If I try to do it this way and get it to line up, if I get one side lined up, look how the other side is off. So make sure that when you're doing your layering, if you can do the wet method, if you're on a surface that will take the wet method, then that's what you want to do. Of course, that's not going to work on paper. You can't use the wet method on paper. Um, if you have your back piece on your vinyl, like the Cricut backing, the new Cricut stuff is on a plastic type backing. You can layer your vinyl up on that backing if you're careful when you're peeling up so you don't peel the whole thing off. You can layer up on that, um, possibly. I haven't tested it, but try it. I mean, cut yourself some Mickey heads and try it. Practice with the wet method, and um, you will see what you can and can't do. But I wanted to try it on some Cricut paper. I just haven't done it yet to see because they changed the backing on theirs and it's like a plastic type film so we might be able to wet method layer up on that and then just transfer into one transfer and use the wet method to transfer so lots of tips and tricks you can try Yeah, it, it's a paper type transfer tape. You don't want to use plastic stuff because you want the water to, because this gets wet.
but you can see the difference. We had play, we had no play, we used our squeegee, we didn't use our squeegee. So, and it makes a difference in the way that it appears, especially if you're going on the, the back of your glass. I hope that shows up. I'm trying to make it show up. But you can see the difference. It looks like a different color instead of being that black color to the right. Oh, good. You got your spring cleaning bundles. Those things are awesome. So does anybody have any design space questions? Anything that you need help with? Any questions on the wet method vinyl? He shows Linda, thank you. Any questions whatsoever? So let's don't forget, let me pull that up. Oops, wrong page. That won't help you guys. Here we go. Here you go. The site right here, giveaway. I'm going to have to log in. Don't forget to come in here. Don't forget to do your tweets. We're going to draw on this on Monday. Am I on the giveaway page? I am. No, I am not giveaway right there so log in go down to the giveaway we're celebrating a hundred thousand members in our Cricut Maker Projects group short rules the official rules if you want to support me on Kofi you can click this button or you can go here on patreon patreon or Kofi both right here right above the giveaway tab down here at the bottom log in and Go through the motions. Make sure you're subscribed to the YouTube channel. Give a thumbs up. Turn on your notifications, guys. Turn those on. That's the little bell. After you hit the word subscribe, it will say subscribed, and then there will be a little bell. And if you have parentheses around your bell, then you are subscribed. But you can earn extra entries um, each day by going to Twitter and tweeting for people to subscribe to the YouTube channel. So, we need another 10,000 members, guys, so we can get some memberships for YouTube memberships going. Yay! Yay, another subscriber. Thank you so much. What size is the tape that I'm using, Paula, is 2 inch. It's the two inch roll. And let me go pop back over and show you. <clears throat> and the reason that I am using the two inch rather than buying the more expensive rolls, well, they're not more expensive. You're getting wider material. Um, <clears throat> if I have something that is wider, I'm just going to layer two pieces together. And I'm going to work with it that way. You just have to remember to pull your bottom layers rather than trying to pull your top layer. So you can use, I can make this as wide as I want it and it will work. You just have to pull your bottom layers and pull them together, not one at a time. But yeah, this is the two inch. And you can see. As long as you put them together, make sure you're just pulling on your bottom one. And you can reuse it a couple of times if you don't wet it too, guys. You can reuse it, I don't know, four or five times. So don't be afraid to, to spend a little bit of money on it. It's well worth it, especially if you're doing a lot of vinyl. If you're doing a lot of large vinyl, I am going to say get... I'm going to say 4 inch. 4 inch should be enough for most of your wet method decals unless you're doing picture windows. And then you're going to need that 12 inch anyway. 
Yes, Linda. Works on plastic, glass, mirrors, any hard surface. It will work on anything. Um, your car windows. Um, if you're doing bumper stickers and putting it actually on the car paint itself, it will work. Um, guys, this is the method that... Have you ever had your windows tinted? It's the same thing, except they don't put any alcohol in theirs. They put uh, Johnson's baby soap. Uh, baby shampoo and water that's all they use when they do window tinting so it's the same method that the professionals use when they apply decals when they apply uh, window tint this is the exact same thing except we're working with little vinyl decals and it gives us that wiggle room because you know that if they're putting on window tint and they're putting that down and covering that whole window. They gotta have some playroom. They it's not it doesn't go on there perfect and one fatal swoop. That doesn't happen. This is the same method that they use. Yes, Linda, you can try it. It, it works great on ornaments, especially if you have large area. That being said. Guys, if you're working on round ornaments and you're using larger area things like this. I have found that 751 vinyl works best and that's what this is. 751 Oracle. It's a little thinner. It feels thinner to me and it's a little more pliable. It's a cast vinyl um, and you can get that over at Swing Design. Uh, let's see. I don't know if it'll go through. But I believe I have a link below for it. If not, you guys can ask me and I will get you one. But that is the link to Swing Design. Right there. Alright, if nobody has any questions, it works on plastic. I'm just making sure that I didn't miss anybody's questions. Okay. All right. You guys have a wonderful Saturday. I'm not going to keep you any longer. Uh, we are going to do, I think, some cards on Monday. I haven't decided yet. Uh, I'll get that posted up as soon as I can. Sometime this evening or tomorrow by noon, I hope. Um, I have to make the cards so I can take the photos. <laughs> so... Uh, I will get that posted up to you as quickly as I can, and I hope to see you on Monday. Thanks for joining me. You guys have a wonderful Saturday, and happy crafting!